Hello, I'm Alexander Heinz, and this is my PowerPoint on how to change an engine oil. Proper tools needed for engine oil changes: a socket or ratchet uh, for removal of the drain plug. Uh, the plug should be turned counterclockwise for removal, clockwise for replacement. An oil filter wrench, if needed, and to remove and install the oil filter. A drain pan to catch the old contaminated oil. And possibly a funnel to refill the engine with back up with oil once you're finished. Uh, proper protective equipment needed for an oil change could be safety glasses to protect your eyes from splashing of oil or debris falling from cleaning. Gloves to ensure on that you, know, you don't get oil burns or oil all over your hands or, and long sleeves to, to protect your arms from burns and oil. What are you looking for to know if uh, oil needs to be replaced? The color of used oil is not always an accurate indication of its condition. Additives in the oil may change the color without decreasing its lubricating qualities. A small engine manufacturer will recommend oil changes at intervals based on hours of running time, meaning a new engine should have the first oil change only a few hours of operation to remove any metallic particles from the crankcase. After that, the time specified may vary from 10 to 50 hours. Checking the engine oil before replacing. Do you check it? the oil in the engine is equipped with a dipstick. Pull the dipstick and wipe it dry. Reinsert the dipstick as far as it will go. Then pull it out a second time and you'll observe the oil level in the dipstick. If not all, but most dipsticks will have both the low and full marks on it. Add oil if it's uh, at the low or lower than the low mark. <laughs> Do not run engine oil if it's shown above the full mark. It may cause damage, such as overused oil and foul plugs. Steps uh, to change an engine oil. Begin by Running the engine until it's well warmed, uh, warm oil will drain a lot better and more contaminants will be removed if the oil is disturbed. Turn up, off the engine and disconnect the spark plug after that. Clean the dirt, any dirt uh, or grime from the drain plug area and then remove the plug with a proper wrench. While the oil to drain for approximately five minutes, remove as much contaminated oil as possible. If the oil, if the drain hole is located on the side or above the engine, tilt the engine towards the drain hole if possible. When draining is complete, replace the drain plug. If the engine is equipped with a depo dis depo dis disposable oil filter. Replace the filter each time the oil is changed. <coughs> to prevent oil leaks, always coat the filter's o-ring seal with a light coat of clean oil before installing the filter. Before putting fresh oil into the engine, clean the filler opening, funnel, and top the oil container. Be sure to use the correct type, velocity grade, and quantity quality of oil recommended by a manufacturer. Pour the oil in the engine's crankcase and then check the level 
If the oil level is correct, replace the filler cap and reconnect the spark plug lead to the spark plug. If it's low, add some oil, and if there's too much, check it and drain some. Finally, start the engine and allow it to run for a few minutes, and then stop the engine and recheck the oil level. Add oil as necessary. Finally, inspect the drain plug and oil filter for leaks. These are my references for my pictures. And that's all. Thank you for watching my PowerPoint.